Hello everyone and welcome to Mind API Recon series. Uh, in this video we will try to find a WADL file on a specific um, target. In this case we will use Bentley.com uh, which we have here the responsible disclosure program which is updated this year so it could be interesting to find some some of this file for those who don't know what uh, WDL is it's like a rest representation of the SOAP WSDL uh, uh, architecture so you can look at Mind API and see if you want to get more information feel free to do it you have the address here um, and what we will do is try to find this file for getting new endpoints or just gathering endpoints from the documentation. Uh, before we start, as is like the previous video, we have our disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational purpose only. Testing without permission, as you know, is illegal and punished by law. So let's get started. You have Bentley, Bentley.com target. Let's open our terminal and the thing with, that we will start is to enumerate some subdomains so uh, bentley.com and let's create an output which can be output you can organize I usually uh, organize by folder but for this video uh, it's only on the, the path that I choose let's go uh, okay, we have a lot of subdomains. Let's filter this out uh, using cut output. Let's use grep and use some patterns like API, uh, QA, dev, test maybe, and guest. I don't know. You have many more. It's it's your choice. Uh, let's run HTTPX on them just to see what's live and running in a web server and a new with the output HTTP filtered. Okay let's go it might take a while but as you can see we're just taking off the list uh, output HTTP filtered uh, the part that doesn't really run the web server on the API on, on the API uh, scope of this video this really doesn't uh, make sense uh, so let's wait for a while okay it's done okay so uh, let's check out our output filtered we have a lot of stuff. How many? By the way. Okay, still we have a lot of uh, subdomains uh, on the target. So let's see if we can use FFUF uh, and use two, two um, patterns for this. We want to have the output uh, HTTP filtered as our host will be our target list right and then another one uh, yeah you can use multiple uh, per, um, sources for the for the endpoint that we want to use FFUF in this case we have WDL word list I think we have like three endpoints or four uh, with the application dot WDL uh, and this could be the list, right? We can put some color uh, and then the target host list and usually I, I use this uh, on FUF in some cases, especially on GraphQL uh, to find GraphQL or, or other uh, like application WDL it's use a, a match regex uh, to find some pattern on the output. Uh, it can help out to filter out be, uh, false positives. So why do we use uh, match response with representation? Usually this word is present on application WDL 
And I think that's it. Let's try to find, okay, not found FFUF because you don't have it here. Uh, maybe it's on tools, maybe. Let me think about it. Tools. Okay, let's go back. I love these videos. Okay, so I don't have maybe apps. <laughs> FFUF. Oh, FFUF, you're here. Okay, so let's play again. Let's find our tool. Let's go back. And let's go FFUF. Boom. Two errors. Damn. Yeah, of course, now you don't have the following. Uh, 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 that's too back. No addition, my, my friends. Doing it raw. And maybe it's it. Scans it. Okay, so we have two, two word lists. And he already found some f a file on QA, so our filtered worked very well and it finished uh, the result. So let's try to open this this URL with API application WL. API application dot WDL. Let's hope for the best. And that's it. We now have the documentation file application WDL with all the files. And you can see that usually we have representation usually. Okay, so uh, you must use FFUF to filter some of the results using regex or a word or something. But it's, it makes sense to usually do this with GraphQL because you have now web servers gives you a lot especially if you are behind a WAF, you get a lot of uh, false positives. So it's cool to have some matching patterns. Uh, and that's it. Hope you liked it and stay safe.